Then I'ma make it rain. rain. Second dude can score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire star. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Put me on the court. Then I'ma make it rain. rain. Second dude can score 100 points in the game. game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire star. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. is sold out and noisy inside here in Boston. Hi again, thanks for joining us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Well, it was a great game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, game two, just about ready to tip off. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Alpha King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today I want to teach Boston a lesson in game two, but I also want to teach you guys a few tips and tricks on how to score. Now, I'm going to tell you guys everything I know about 2K this game, so let's get into it. Now, having JaVale McGee at the tip-offs, they're easy wins every single time. It's that simple. Now, coming starting on defense, you see this, right? You see how Rondo gets a shot block. You notice how I take off. Now, notice the analog. I twist that thing in a full circle while I'm holding turbo, and that's that windmill 360 right there. Now, coming down on offense... As soon as I get the pass, I pump fake, dribble drive, but I hit the analog to the right instead of the left, and I mess up Paul Pierce totally. Now, coming down on this offensive side, you see me, man, going right to the corner to what I know and shooting that three for cash. Now, you see me about to play the passing lanes. You know what I'm about. I'm about taking cookies. You see me taking off. Now, with this right here, I push the analog to the left instead of the right, and I actually do, like, a little step hesitation and get Rondo called for the foul. That's an easy way to get to the line without having to do cheese, euro steps, and hop steps. Now, on this offensive run, you already know I'm holding L1, getting McGee cut into the basket. That's how you call a screen, man. You got you to gotta tap L1 for him to cut, or you got to hold it for him to roll. That's what it's all about, man. You got to get your teammates involved, and I know it's hard, but you got to do what you got to do. Look at him snapping. Now, on this defensive play, you know what's about to happen. I'm playing the passing lanes again. I'm putting the burners on, and I'm going in for another 360. I'm telling you, hold turbo, rotate that analog, Preferably get that J, that well J Smith package, and you can get that windmill 360 going, man. Now on this offensive play, you see me calling the screens once again, waiting for my player to cut to the rim. I'm not touching the analog or nothing, none of that. Now on this defensive play, you see me getting my D on. You already know what it is, man. I try to stick as much defense as I can, but you see me out on the break. You know what's about to happen. LeBron dribble to the rim, not holding out at all. You got to go straight at these people's chests if you want to go to the line. You can't settle for jump shots. That's what 2K is not about. And a Euro step in that situation would have got me killed. But you see me going to the rim, using my post moves. Sometimes you got to do up and unders, man. That's what it's all about. Sometimes you need quick points. Up and unders are the best way to get them. I'm telling you, man. Now you see me coming down on offense with the hesitation going around Paul Pierce. Nice pump fake. Get under the rim where they can't guard you that much and get an easy layup. Now on this offense, I mean, sorry, defensive play, you already know I was going to take the cookies again. But this time, no 360. I just decided to do a quick dunk. All I did was press the analog towards the rim, and that was the dunk that came out. Sometimes you do different animations, and that's great. But I guess they wanted to keep it simple this time around. Now, on this defensive play, you see me. I'm keeping my hands up, keeping the offense going, and you see we get the steal, man. That's what it's all about. Now, check this out. I'm going to slow it down, get the offensive started, and I'm going to call for a nice little screen, but I'll go around my teammate for a nice little phantom pick, and that's an easy layup or dunk every time. Now, on this offensive play, you see me calling another screen, L1 with McGee, but this time I'm dunking on somebody. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do you dunk on people? What I usually do is, I flick the analog backwards away from the rim when I'm driving to the rim holding turbo. That's the truth. Now, on this offensive fast break, you see what I'm about to do. I'm going straight at his back. I didn't wait until he turned around on defense. Usually, the computer is in their code to go straight to the paint and turn around. I didn't have time to wait for that, but you see me playing the passing lanes once again. I button mash still and turbo all the time. That's what I do. But you see this nice little ball movement play right here. I didn't call for the ball. I didn't want it. I, I got the good teammate grade. 
Now, another thing people want to know about is how to get your teammate grade up. I say double team and definitely set a lot of screens. But as you saw that play right there, I was using the LeBron dribble to get to the rim. That's what I'm usually doing most of the time on fast breaks. Now you see this play right here. Nice little pump fake. Put him in the post. Wait till he messes up the animation and shoot the nice little fader. Conference finals keep on rolling. Now for a halftime breakdown presented by HP. A tightly contested game for the Wizards up against the Boston Celtics. They're looking for their second win in as many games in this series. JaVel McGee has been the X factor. He's got a dozen points and been a huge factor on the glass. On the other side, the Celtics looking pretty solid as well. Sharp shooting from downtown. They're raining triples nonstop. They're getting some great minutes out of Keon Dooling. He's got 10 points and so far done a great job playing lockdown D. We've got a pair of guys here who've been huge factors so far tonight. Thanks so much for joining us here in the studio. We hope to see you next time. We'll send you back out to the second half. All right, starting on this possession of the third quarter, first possession, you see me coming down with a nice pump fake. My teammate set a screen on his own. I didn't call for that one that time. But as you can see, I went straight into the paint. I hit the analog. I flicked it backwards, and I got that dunk, guys. That's how you do it. But on this offensive play, check out this little glitch right here. What is going on with my player? I'm pressing L2 and the analog forward. Um, for dribbling and that's the move that he pulled out but you see me getting assists man waiting for my teammates now on this offensive play check me out using a nice little spin move to get to the rim but no holes barred showing my strength getting in that's how you gotta do it sometimes guys now on this offensive play you see me calling for the screen I love using screens tap on turbo you know now uh, coming around that pick you notice how I picked up speed because I didn't go around the screen holding turbo I waited until I passed the screen to hold it and that's what got me that dunk animation now coming down on this offensive play you see the hesitation going to the run with the J Smith package sometimes hesitations really work when you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation because there's no help defense behind them and there the AI isn't as smart as it would be if it was somebody behind them but you know you know how it is now on this offensive play, you see me using the behind and back to get to the rim you, and using my teammates also. You got to use your teammates' and screens even when they're not setting them. It's just that simple. Just like I did right there on that nice little layup. I even used his own teammates. <laughs> now check out the block by McGee. I'm out on a break. I'm not holding out. Now you notice. Notice how he turned around on defense. That was a nice play, but I got the, the shaking big package. You can't lose with that in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Now you see me play, playing the passing lanes again. This is what I do. I'm going all the way to the rim. Nice little spin layup. I, I, I was trying to do a spin dunk, but it made me do a layup instead, but it's all good. You know, sometimes you don't get the dunks, and the layups are just as great. Now, you see me setting a nice screen. Sometimes you got to set screens, man. Setting screens definitely get people to the rim. That's how you got to play the offensive objective. And I got the assist. <laughs> now, on this play, you see me using Rondo in the paint, getting a nice up and under. You know, I, I got hit, no foul, but it's all good. We're up. <laughs> Now, you see me out on defense, playing the passing lanes. I'm telling you, I button mash that still button every time, man, truthfully. Now, check that out. Whoa. That right there is a spin dunk. All you, you do it the same way you do a 360, but a defender is just in front of you. And if you ever get that animation, you better jump out your seat. I'm just saying, jump out your seat. <laughs> now, on defense here, you see that I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I can. I box out. That's what you got to do, man. You got to box out so people can't come in with these crazy rebounds. But check this out. Oh, my Lord. For some reason, he decided to flop, and I dunked on Rondo. I'm telling you guys, hold that turbo button. Flick that analog back. Don't use the square button. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? And Kevin, for the Wizards, the game Sprite Spark has been the solid play from their three-man. He's the focal point of their offense, and this game has been no different. They'll keep leaning on him to finish this one out. Thanks, Doris. Uh, he has All right, let's get into the fourth quarter, you guys. Notice, I come into the post, but you see how both of the defenders follow me? That's what the AI does most of the time. You just got to find your teammates. Now, on this defensive play, you notice I'm, I'm shadowing this guy, man, and I'm calling double teams for my teammates. That's what we're doing out here. We're not just letting one-on-ones go with the shot clock cheese and all of that. But you can see they put me on the bench because we're up big. One thing that I will say, you guys, 
I'm going to leave inside the description for the NBA 2K12 manual for all systems. What I want you to do is go inside the description, click the link, download the manual. For all the moves that I've done in this game, they're all inside the manual. Up and unders and everything, guys. I'm telling you, go inside the description. Also, if you want to dunk on people, don't use Square. Please don't use Square. But as you can see, that the nice series of spin moves helped me get to the rim on Kevin Garnett, including the bump by his own teammates on defense. Now, you see me taking advantage of the full court press sometimes when you're up big and you want to keep your lead sometimes you got to abuse the full court press it's that simple really <laughs> now you see me about to abuse the full court press once again now when a team can't guard you in a half court that's usually what happens but check me out getting fouled going on the floor I didn't make the basket but one thing I do want to point out is that five second timer down there next to the fourth quarter with three minutes and 19 seconds left that right there means I'm playing on Hall of Fame y'all if it's 15 seconds it's pro if it's 10 seconds it's all-star or superstar and if it's five seconds it's Hall of Fame it's that simple if you want to play on Hall of Fame good luck that's all I'm saying <laughs> Now, on this offensive play, you know, I'm using the uh, full court press to my advantage again, and I'm getting another, another <laughs> windmill 360. It's, it's, it's easy when you have a 95 dunk rating and you have the J. Smith package. It's, it's real easy. I'm just saying. Now, I'm using the full court press to my advantage again. I'm trying to get buckets. I'm trying to put points on the board. And this time, I dunk on two people with a crazy tomahawk. That time, I used the analog and pressed it to the right instead of the left because I wanted to actually see if I can get a contact dunk. And it worked to perfection. Now, on this possession right here, I was fumbling the ball. But if you notice, that pump fake right there opened up everything for this nice little spin layup. You got to hold L2 and don't use turbo if you want to do spin layups. Now, this right here is the meaning of one big thing. This means we got the job done. If I'm sitting on the bench with time left on the game and I don't have to play, that means that mission has been accomplished. And thank you, Hall of Fame, for letting me win against the bomb Celtics. Also, by the way, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Peace. Can't connect. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the whole crew from 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Now let's take a look at the Jordan Player of the Game. Yo, I go and get it if you throw the alley oop. Leave me wide open, I won't hesitate to shoot. They call me Stat Stuffer, I put points on the scoreboard. So much swag, my Lamborghini need four doors. Give me the ball and I perform like Mike The greatest of all time, I get all that hype I'm skipping the Kobe Bryant, I'm skipping LeBron James Give me the ball, yo, I'm creative in all lanes And when you get the ball, I take cookies I got vets looking like they mini camp rookies I bank it off glass, I run a break fast I penetrate pass, my jump shot cash so the D, they better get their hand up. I got the coach screaming, telling y'all, man up. And put a double team on 87 Carter. The rookie of the year that's taking the wizard father. And I'ma make it rain. Second dude to score 100 points in the game. Some call it jump shot. I call it fire starter. The ball threw me a oop. They thought I was Vince Carter. Put me on the court. And I'ma make it rain, rain. Second to the score, 100 points in the game. game Some call it jump shot, I call it fire starter Ball through me a oop, they thought I was Vince Carter, Carter. Another big win for the team tonight. How does it feel to have taken the first two games on the road knowing that you're heading back home now with the possibility of closing out the series? 
Man, I was real proud of the team tonight. If you want to compete for a championship, you have to win big games on the road. And we did that here to start the series. It's far from over, but knowing that we're going home with a chance to play in front of our fans and try to win a couple more games is huge, man. You always want momentum on your side in the playoffs, and we've definitely got that now.